This is part 12 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a custom route constraint. We discussed the built-in route constraints in our previous video. If none of these built-in route constraints meet your application requirements, you may create a custom route constraint. Creating a custom route constraint is straightforward. All we need to do is create a class and make that class implement this built-in iRoute constraint interface. This interface, as you can see, has got just one method for which our class has to provide implementation. This is the same project we've been working with so far in this video series. To this Razor Pages project, let's add a new class. Let's name this class Event Constraint. In just a bit, we'll discuss what this custom constraint class is going to do. To make this class a route constraint, it has to provide implementation for the built-in iRoute constraint interface. This interface is in Microsoft.ASP.NET-Core.Routing namespace. Let's bring that in. And then we need to provide implementation for the only method in this interface, match. This method has got five parameters. We'll discuss what these parameters contain and their use in just a bit. But before that, let's understand what should this event constraint do. At the moment, we are on the employees list page. When I click the view button, we see the respective employee details and the respective employee ID is passed in the URL as a route parameter. The employee details are displayed by this details razor page. Notice in the URL, we are passing the employee ID as a route parameter. And at the moment, we are using two built-in route constraints, min and max. Together, both these constraints ensure employee ID values are between 1 and 100. Now, what we want to do is allow only even numbers to be valid employee ID values. Odd numbers must be considered invalid. So we want to use our custom constraint, maybe something like this, even so with this custom constraint in place, only even numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. must be allowed. Odd numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. must be considered invalid. We provide the logic for our custom constraint within the match method. Notice the return type of this method is boolean. So this method returns true if the constraint is satisfied, otherwise false. First, let's create a variable called id. Employee id is passed in the URL as a route parameter and the name of this route parameter is id. So to read the id route parameter value, we use this parameter values. As you can see, it's a dictionary and contain the route parameter values. So using this parameter, we retrieve the id route parameter value. Let's convert this to string. And then let's use int32 try parse method to try and parse the id route parameter value to an integer and store it in this id variable. If we are able to successfully parse the id route parameter value to an integer, then we want to check if this id value is an even number. So we divide id by 2 and if the remainder is 0, the constraint is satisfied. So we return true. On the other hand, if we are not able to parse the id route parameter value to an integer or it's not an even number, then the constraint fails. So we want to return false. This completes our custom constraint implementation. To be able to use this custom constraint, we have to register it with our application. And we do that within configure services method of the startup class. Notice on this options parameter, which is of type route options, in addition to all these properties, we also have constraint map property. As you can see from the IntelliSense, this constraint map is a dictionary. So we need to add our custom route constraint to this dictionary. So let's use the add method and we need to specify a key. And if you remember on the details razor page, we're using this constraint using this key even. So we have to use this same key. And then we have to specify the type of our custom constraint. So we use the type of keyword and our constraint type is even constraint. 
Notice now when I have the mouse over this first employee view button whose employee ID is an odd number, we don't have the view link generated. Whereas for this second employee whose ID value is an even number. Notice the ID is included in the URL and the view link is generated as expected. Again for the third employee it's not generated and for this fourth employee it is generated. And when we click the view button we see this employee details. If we change the ID value to another even number like 2 we see that respective employee details. But if I change it to an odd number like 1 for example, we get a 404 error. That's because 1 is not a valid employee ID route value. What happens if we pass minus 2? Minus 2 is a valid even number. We get a null reference exception because we don't have an employee with ID minus 2. So the employee property is null on a null property we are calling photo path. So we get null reference exception. So what we want to do is allow only even numbers 2 and higher. And we can achieve that by using the built-in min constraint. So along with our custom constraint, we can also use the built-in constraint like min for example. Notice now when we reload this page, we get a 404 error because minus 2 is not a valid employee ID value. Now let's understand what information these parameters of the match method contain by placing two breakpoints within our custom constraint and then run our project in debug mode. We are on the home page. Let's navigate to slash employees slash view slash one. Notice our breakpoint within our custom constraint is hit. And when I have the mouse over this ID variable, notice the ID route parameter value at the moment is one. And let's inspect the data that is present in these different parameters of the match method. The first parameter here is the HTTP context object and this parameter carries the information about the HTTP request itself. Notice we have access to the request header, request body and there's a lot of information about the request here. The request path is slash employee slash view slash one. We used a get request. So this first parameter contains the information about the HTTP request itself and the second parameter specifies the router that this constraint belong to. At the moment it is null router. And this third parameter specifies the name of the route parameter. In our case, it is the employee ID route parameter. And this fourth parameter carries the route parameter values. At the moment, we've got two route parameters. So page and ID. For page, the value is slash employee slash details. And for ID, the value is one. And then this final parameter route direction specifies whether this constraint is being evaluated as part of handling an incoming request or link generation. At the moment, our application is handling an incoming request. So the value that we see here is incoming request. And when we continue execution, we see a 404 error. That's because this employee ID 1 is not a valid even number. We just discussed this route direction parameter indicates whether the constraint check is being performed when an incoming request is being handled or when a URL is being generated. So if we now go back and then try to navigate to the employees list page, notice again the breakpoint within our custom constraint is hit and the ID route parameter value is one. It's not an even number. So the constraint is about to return false. And if we now take a look at this parameter value, notice it is URL generation. So at the moment, this constraint is being evaluated as part of generating URLs for the view button on our list page. For the first employee, the ID value is one. It's not an even number, so it returns false. Hence, the URL will not be generated. If we continue, the ID value now is two. It is even number, so it returns true. The URL will be generated. For the third employee, it will not be generated. And for the fourth employee, it will be generated. So if we continue the execution, we see the employee list. And when I have the mouse over this first employee view button, notice the href value is not generated. And for the second employee, it is generated as expected. For the third, it's not. And finally, for the fourth employee, it is generated. Now, if we view the page source, let me zoom this in a bit. Notice the view link of the first employee, the href attribute value is empty. And for the second employee, it is generated as expected. For the third employee, 
it's empty again and for fourth employee it is generated as expected our custom even constraint is working as expected i only included this for demonstration we don't really need it on our details razor page because for our requirement one and any value higher than that is a valid employee id value so we can very easily enforce that just by using the built-in min constraint to create a custom constraint create a class that implements the built-in i route constraint interface once the constraint is implemented we need to register it we do the registration in configure services method of the startup class and then we can use the custom constraint just like any other built-in constraint that's it in this video thank you for listening